Louis, 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 Wepa! Alright, me and Day guys, it's been a long, long day here in Staten Island, guys. We just finished installing a 240-130H Navian boiler. You guys can see a combi boiler. Guys, this is what it takes to get the job done. First of all, we're here in Staten Island. We normally don't work in Staten Island, but we came here because he re specifically requested Louis the Boilerman and the team here at New York Boiler and Air Conditioner Repair, and that's exactly what we did, guys. So we stood out. <clears throat> I mean, it's about 2.40 in the morning, but we had to stay out because... We have, we're just so busy right now with other projects going on, but we need to get the job done. And most importantly, you need hot water. So guys, look right behind me. I mean, again, another masterpiece from the team here with Theo, the team from Rick to Kevin to Carlos, and of course, the Boilerman himself. So guys, this is what it takes, man. Um, we got the uh, magnetic water, fil water filter, which you ha we have your neutralizer and your condensate pump. We got a heavy duty pump. That was something that was given to him. So that was a gift um, from, to the customer from a good friend of his. So why not use it, right? <clears throat> it is a little overkill. I'm sure a lot of people will say, that's overkill. I know, but listen, it's better to be overkill than under, right? So, hey, it's nothing wrong with it. It's doing a great job. However, this house right here, it's a pretty big house, believe it or not. Um, a lot of these houses here in Staten Island are old. They're like, it's like a, Victor it's like a Victorian style house. So you just to give it an, uh, an idea how big the house is so why not put a heavy duty pump a grip pump it's also a bng pump so it's one of the better pumps so guys this is what it takes i mean there's so much more to talk about here i mean it's just it's a lot of work i mean if you guys seen the video from earlier from the beginning of the project i mean all of this was first it was two boilers here it was a mess it was a hot water here i mean look at the room check it out guys so i mean it has so much room i mean you can do whatever you want <clears throat> i mean it's only so much you can do in a mechanical room However, you could probably build out a closet or whatever it is you want to do. But definitely a big difference from beginning to end. Don't forget to subscribe. Whip out. All right, guys. So just for education purposes, we want to point out what exactly we're looking at. So I'm going to point them out just for you in just a second. So are you ready? I'm ready. So guys, we have a magnetic water filter. You guys can see here from Calafi. We also have a neutralizer pump and a condensate pump, only one. So I shouldn't even say a neutralizer. I take that back. It's a neutralizer and a condensate pump. So the neutralizer is the pebbles that neutralizes the water because the water is acidic. And then you get the pump. So you got a two-in-one. So the pump, and you got the neutralizer right here on your left. Another part is you got a circulated pump, which is very, very important because if there's no circulated pump, there's no circulation of water, you're not going to have any heat. So I would say this is one of probably the, one of the most important parts. I mean, everything's important. Everything plays a part, but that's very important. Uh, what else we have here? Oh, a pressure reducing valve. What does that do? It maintains water pressure in the boiler. So in case you guys didn't know, if this boiler is under 12 psi, it's not going to work. It's designed that way for a reason. It's designed to make sure there's water in the boiler. Because if you have no water in the boiler and you run the boiler without no water, no bueno. So guys, it's no different than running a um, a car with a radiator with no water. You're going to blow the engine. We don't want that. What else? Oh, we have an expansion tank. So in case you guys didn't know, whenever you're heating water in a seal system, Guess what? Water expands. So we have a diaphragm built in. Think of it like a balloon. The half half water and half air. So as water water um start heating up, you start expanding. Ah. And then of course, woo! It, it it expands and contracts. So guys, think of it like it's breathing. So you need a an expansion tank. If you do not have an expansion tank, you're gonna get water leaks because has to span somewhere so what it's going to do is going to leak water from the relief property it's going to relieve pressure think of it like a bell you know when you fart you go Pfft. that's exactly what it's going to do so we need an expansion tank what else guys i mean we got the manifold i don't know if you guys know we have it what we call a, a, a primary and a secondary loop so right here's the manifold you got your primary loop right here and over here this run the heating run that's actually your secondary loop so it's designed that way from the manufacturer engineer so it works a certain way right now it's so long that i cannot get that for another video but 
I want to tell you guys, it has a primary loop already built in, and you have your secondary um, loop. Um, what else? You got your purge valve. You're going to purge right over here. Um, I mean, it's pretty much it. Oh, we forget this. Air separator. Of course, what's the point of an air separator? Separate air. So, we need to bleed the system. You still got to bleed the system regardless, but it's to separate the air um, and make sure there's no bubbles in this to reinsure because it's not an air system, it's a hot water system. He knows, he knew more. What's next? He got already cleaner for me and everything. Wow, nice. Nice. Because he's seen me so many times doing it, so he knows, oh, I would better go there or here, you know. Mm -hmm. These guys, I have to call them in, like, like right now, he's, he's the guy's doing a hole, right? Where's the other guy doing? <laughs> Ya llegó el aire, esa casa está caliente, estoy sudando toda la gente, solo llama a Luis, ya llegó el aire, Luis, 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 oh, I'm the boiler man, oh, I'm the boiler man, Luis, 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 fuego, fuego, llama a Nuyo Caldero, fuego, fuego, llama a Nuyo Caldero, Nuyo Bola en general, va a poner tu casa de fría, cuando hace calor afuera, el aire no va a ser Llama Nuyo Caldero, fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, 
llama Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. Nuyo Bola en general, va a poner tu casa de frial. Cuando hace calor afuera, el aire no vas a parar. Fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. so much more to go guys but listen listen we have to wrap it up right now it's been a long day it's the guys are tired i'm exhausted and we need to get out we get out of here i'm sorry i'm losing my voice but guys again you want the h-track poppy to come to your home and teach you how it works not a problem but most importantly guys if you need heat, heat you need hot water you know who to call you call the h-track poppy where 516-377-5200 and most importantly guys smash that bell button leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe Whip out.